All right, y'all. Uh, I got a I got a uh, subscriber request right here to discuss this situation where um, many black men are deciding that it's better to be a woman, and um, and she wanted me to kind of go into my thoughts on why that is, and uh, you know what that's all about. I'm going to do my best to give you my best interpretation of my theories of why. I obviously can't tell you why another person did something uh, specifically because I didn't talk to them and they didn't tell me specifically why they did it. So all of this is going to be speculative type of look at it, but this is just based on the facts in the case, right? This is a speculative look at it, uh, but, you know, based on the facts of the case. So, uh, now, uh, this is from the show Carcino where, uh, homosexual brother has a show where he discusses, you know, many different topics or whatever. So this, this show is about a, um, a man, a male that transitions, transition to female and the father is not in favor of that transition. Plus, they got a other bunch of other little family issues going on. But that is the major issue on the table here. So I'm not going to show you the uh, I'm not going to show you the video because I already got flagged by uh, I already got a p video pulled down by YouTube today. They already you know they didn't they didn't let me upload this video and I was like why? But then I realized it was a lot of you know finger pointing, a lot of name naming. So they didn't want that, and so. Um, I talked about certain communities that they didn't want me to do that. So they wouldn't let me upload the video. So, so I'm going to try to do, so I'm not going to even show the, uh, the video on this one. I'm just going to do the audio so that we can get an idea of who we dealing with. And I might show you guys a picture of this person. So anyway, uh, let's, let's move on. Let's continue with the show. Layton contacted me saying his two children treat him as if he's not living at all. I want y'all to take a look at this. I need Karamo's help to get my family back together. I know I made mis uh, mistakes in the past, but I love my kids. When they were young, we was happy. But when I got incarcerated, everything had changed. I blame myself because I should have been there. But I also blame Bree. My kids don't call me, check on me. I didn't even know Michaela was even pregnant. I just feel hurt and I just want everything to come back together. Period. I'm 51 years old and I want my family back. Well, before I talk to Leighton, I'm going to talk to his daughter, Ariana. Please, everyone, welcome Ariana to the show. Oh! Stunning! Oh, she's stunning! How are you? Nice to meet you. Hold on! I didn't know we had a supermodel coming out today. You look gorgeous. You really do. Okay. So I just saw that video for the first time of your father. How do you feel about what you just Child. saw? <laughs> if we're gonna come on here, let's be like, let's come correct. We're all grown, so yeah. to blame other people for like stuff that you did as a man, as a father, is just like. So what did he do that's causing him to feel like he's lost his family? Or in your opinion, what did he do to lose his family? Uh, well, for one, I mean, he's never really been in my life. The only memories that I have of my father is like, traumatic experiences got it and um so i'm transgender and i don't really know how he feels about it but it's like it's, it's wishy-washy it's like i want my family back but at the same time you need to acknowledge me as your daughter mm. i'm not your son yes so does he still interact with you as if you were his son he doesn't respect your transition um well to my mom he still refers to me as his son how does that make you feel knowing that your father is still not in a space to respect you it hurts my feelings because it's like, I fought so hard to be here and I've been through a lot. I feel hurt that, you know, I can't have my mother and my father. When was the last time you saw Layton? I saw him at my sister's graduation. Okay, what no, was Not that my like? graduation, my sister's graduation. Guess he want his son back, but um, he's dead and gone, so. Yes, yes. <laughs> so what was it like when you saw um, Layton at your sister's graduation? It was, I felt like he was just another person off the street so why so would did I... you ever have that bond mm -hmm. like at all no so why do you think in his mind does it feel he thinks that you all had that relationship 
Listen, if you want to become wealthy, you probably do not want to own and or invest in Bitcoin. Because I'm watching the video the same way you did, and it sounds like, hey, I'm a dad, I want to be there, and like all these things, but I'm hearing something different from you. I mean, maybe when I was younger and he had his son, like, um, but mm. uh, I can't recall a time where it was like, yeah, my dad, like, I just remember. Okay. I think y'all got the idea, right? Uh, without getting into the whole situation, I think we got the idea. This young man right here, or he refers to himself as young lady, whatever, right? But this this uh, I don't know person, uh, they want their father to acknowledge their gen transgender identity, right? And, you know, they got a right to to request that, but nobody is under any obligation to, uh, you know, respect that, right? Those of us that are trying to be more respectful, we try to respect it if we can, you know what I mean? If we can do it, it's not, it don't put no extra strain on us. We try to do it, but, you know, some some people are not open to acknowledging that. And that's their right to do it, right? But so, but the question was posed to me: Why do so many of our young men make this decision? And my theory on that is that many of them have been uh, mismanaged uh, spiritually. Um, they have been mismanaged. I'm sure at it physically. And that physical mismanagement has, um, you know, uh, mismanaged them spiritually where they spiritually are, have been rocked. They have been spiritually rocked. And so once they've been spiritually rocked, the, the standard by which, the standards by which they would judge themselves and the world have now been uh, disrupted uh, you know, um, 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 what's the word, uh, been disrupted, uh, interrupted, uh, 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 um, uh, misaligned where, and, uh, their, um, their, their version, their vision of themselves has been readjusted, uh, to, uh, appear that uh a feminine uh 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 characterization of themselves is a more um uh uh, uh appropriate uh position for them in this world of wickedness now see now what we got to take into a consideration is the wicked world that's around our children right it, we, you know it's it's like you got your children in a in a we have our children here in America in a in a bed of alligators. Jesus called it a generation of vipers, right? I mean it's evil from every direction, the radio, the television, the internet, you know, uh the magazines, uh whatever, newspaper, whatever, the streets, right? It's, it's evil comes at them from every direction and it's all being fair seeming, right? It's all made to be fair seeming. So with that in mind, with that in mind, some of our brothers, some of our brothers have been, had, had been, have been violated physically. They have been violated physically and they, uh, it, it has, not only rocked their physical presence, but it rocked their mental uh, presence. Because let me explain. See, I, your body and mind and spirit are lo always looking for balance, always looking for equilibrium where they all can agree, right? So if your body says you're a man and your um uh, spirit says you. You know, you, you, your spirit says you're a female because your spirit has been rocked, 
right? When you first come out, everything's even. Everything is equilibrium there. The body says male. The spirit says male. Um, and the, uh, the mental says male. All of these things say male. The emotions are aligned with masculinity. Everything's ma aligned with masculinity. But as an, an outside and exterior force uh, gets expressed upon this person, it will take one of those things out of alignment. And the body and the mind and the spirit are always seeking equilibrium with each other so that if the if the if the body has been violated and the body is like uh or the mind the mind has been we really because when the body's violated the body can get over it with the mind the mind has been violated right because of the body's been violated now you got the body violated the body has been uh uh, yeah, violated. And so uh, because the body and the mind has been violated, the only thing left uh, uh, unviolated is the spirit. But if the mind and the body is violated, they're going to be looking for equilibrium, some way to equali equalize, e create equilibrium between all three of those planes, right? But the masculine... Uh, 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 the masculine uh, framework is not going to may may not uh equal, may not be able to be equalized into that framework. So therefore, since the mind and the body are disturbed, the the person the way their mind works may say because this action took place, it I'm I must be. You know, a feminine uh, framework would be better for me to proceed forward. Are you with me? A feminine, uh, a feminine uh, 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 framework is 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 better for me to proceed forward to create equilibrium. Are you following? This happens in children. This happens in young men, young women, everything, right? You see them have some type of traumatic situation, and instead of uh, being able to uh, 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 dis detach from that uh, traumatization and be able to reorganize uh, the, the the equilibrium of the mind, body, and the spirit, what happens is that uh, 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 traumatization that happened to the body. It, it spills into the mind and then those two are off the body and the mind are off now they, they, they're off of the 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 masculine excuse me framework and the mind says we can't achieve equilibrium continuing to push this masculine framework that's going to be inconsistent to the emotional states that I'm in so because of the emotional state that this this disruption to their spirit has caused, they say, okay, since I can't create equilibrium by continuing to follow a masculine framework, now I have to change it into a feminine framework so that I can now create equilibrium in uh, 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 in the between the mind, body, and the spirit. And that's basically what, what, that's my interpretation of what's going on. Because I think so many of them, it's so hard to be a man. It's so hard. And there's no rule books. There's no, there's no, um, it's really a thankless job, really. Women are acknowledged much better than men are. Right, as far as uh, someone to look at as a person to try to take advantage—I mean, excuse me, not take advantage, but but spend time with and do things for, and you know, look out for and do things. Women are much more um, sought after in that way. So, 
being a man is a very difficult situation. And then on top of it, being a black man, very difficult situation, right? So some of our some of our brothers say, you know what? Uh, I can't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to attempt that. I want to attempt to do this, and I'm not saying well. They just decided that many of them are doing it because they have no other. Um, this is how they uh, look at the situation. They don't have no other way of looking at the situation, right? Because they've been through so much, right? They've been through so much. They don't want to, right? And they've been violated at some point, which opens the door for confusion. See, when the mind, body, and spirit are all in agreement, there's no confusion there. There's no confusion. But now when you've been violated, now your body is in one place. Then the mind tries to create the equilibrium, but it can't create that equilibrium because your emotions are involved. Right? So now that your emotions are involved, it's going to take a lot more work to create equilibrium. And sometimes... Some of our brothers say, you know what? I can't go back to a masculine frame because my emotions are driving me into this uh, feminine frame because I was violated. And the only way I'm going to be able to create this equilibrium is if I, since my, since my mind is saying I'm not a man and some, and some outside force violated me and violated me and showed me I'm not a man and I can never be a man then I need to just accept the fe feminine framework and get into a feminine framework. And then they go out and seek doctors and uh, nurses to help them achieve the, uh, 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 the appearance, outer appearance of a female. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? That means that they're 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 not female. I think most of them understand it. They're not female, even though they would demand to be considered as a female. Uh, a, a lot of them. I don't think. I I really think honestly, most of the trans our brothers that do that uh, transition into females. I think most of them got enough sense to realize that, you know, uh, they can't demand that of. Everybody. I think I think the ones that come out trying to demand that you got to call me this and you got to call me that. I think that's a very small number. I think that's a minority in the trans, the trans uh, female population. I think it'd be, I think the average trans uh, female would understand that, Hey man, I can't, how can I go out here and demand you call me this? Can't demand you do anything, right? <laughs> Can't demand what it, you can't demand another person do anything. You can't can't do that. Only thing you can do is request it. If they don't do it, what you gonna do? I, I okay. I didn't call you, ma'am, or miss. What you gonna do? You gonna call the police on me? I mean, you can't. You know what I'm saying? What, what are you gonna do? Right? No real consequence to not doing it. So therefore. Most people are just, they, most of these, I think these trans people understand and say, hey, look, as long as you don't be disrespectful to me, I'm cool with it. I'm, 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 I'm going to be cool. As long as you cool with me, I'm cool with you, right? Anyway, that's my impression. What do y'all think? Why do you think so many of our brothers, man? It's I, I See, the one thing I do know is it's very difficult to be a man. And it's very difficult to be a black man. Very, very crazy expectations from a lot of black women, the expectations are crazy, crazy. And then what they what what a lot of our sisters want you to put up with, right? It's it's crazy. And then there's no real training on how to be a good man. There's there's not no real training from the get go on how to be a good man. They just throw you out here and say, you know, go 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 be successful. Right. It's like it's like uh, when you got out of slavery, 
They say, okay, you're not a slave no more. Go out there and be a millionaire. Go out there and be successful. You don't know how to read. You don't know how to write. <laughs> right? You never done anything on your own. And they just say, hey, you know, you're free now. No training, no <clears throat> no post post slavery training is what they should have had, right? Should have had post post slavery training on business, on home ownership, on uh career jobs and careers, trades, <clears throat> nothing, right? But the purpose for allowing uh black people to be free wasn't so that we could be um uh 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 um, help the help the uh, the society uh, in in a positive way. And that that wasn't never the purpose. The purpose was to uh, destabilize the economy of the South, right? That was the whole purpose. Right? And uh, the casualties of that is the black community, right? But that's another conversation. Just want to let y'all know that when y'all See some of our young brothers, man. And so, so you see some of our brothers that have done this, man. That have made these transitions. Understand that it's it's not because they just pop out like that. A disturbance has happened in their spirit, mind, and body. And so, to create equilibrium, they have to decide what they're going to do. And so, um, because uh, being a man is such a thankless job. And it's very ugly at times. Um, some of them decide that, hey, I don't want that headache. I'd rather be a female, right? I'd rather be a female because they have a lot more, um, they have a lot less <clears throat> traps out there for them to uh, get caught up. And, uh, you know, and they get a lot more uh, recognition from the society when they're in trouble. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Or do you think there's some other reasons why black men are transitioning into women? You let me know. But until then, no disrespect to no transgender person. Just telling you my thoughts on why so many of that community, uh, it may, excuse me, the black, <clears throat> black male community are, are making that transition um, to female uh, you know, because there's not really a lot, and then the, the next, the, another thing is they just don't have a like this this person here that made his transition over. Uh, you know, his father wasn't there. His father went to prison at some critical years, right? So that opens the door for a lot, right? Father being gone, domineering, domineering mother. Uh, that will uh. That that can that can have that effect as well, but like I said, uh, this this kind of stuff can be uh, slowed down because I don't think even people that make transitions say, "Yeah, this is something that you should do." I think most people, when they get to the point when they feel like they have to make this do this kind of thing, they are really suffering inside, and they're searching for equilibrium where they can see themselves as they see themselves in their head. And that's what they're searching for. But we can slow this. We can slow this down by get, be, getting better men out there. Let's get better men out there. How do we get better men out there? We gotta. We gotta train them. Bro, C trying to put something together to train them. Right. We want the Urban Warrior Academy Incorporated. We want to take these young men and show them how to be good men. Show them the qualities of good men. The qualities of good women. They don't even know how to pick women for themselves. They picked the one. They picked the most promiscuous, uh, the best looking promiscuous woman they can find. Right, the uh, the best looking woman that's actually will have sex with them. Right. They don't want to put in the work to be the only one that that woman would choose to have sex. They want to. They don't want to choose women like that because that's too much work. They choose women that are uh, promiscuous on purpose. Because they think sex is some type of like there's a there's a finish line. Nobody cares how many how many women you slept with. 
<laughs> when you go to the bank, there's no line. Hey, you know what? We're gonna give you. We'll give you an extra hundred thousand dollars if you could tell us how many women you slept with. There's there's nothing. You don't get no trophies. You don't get nothing. All you get is uh, increasing your odds to getting some type of STD or some type of uh, viral infection. That's all you get. So you might as well pick a woman that hey that 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 you can uh, settle down with. Before you have sex, because it's a new era, man. It's a new time. We can't, we can't do things like we did before. We just can't do it, man. There's there's gangs of women out here that these cartels are backing, man, and all they do is steal wallets from men. They steal money from men. They do it online, or or they meet with you. They don't care nothing about you. Got a family. <laughs> they don't get nothing about that they don't get nothing about you got a family you got a family so what that's on you right these women is ruthless man they ruthless they ruthless this is why you gotta you gotta watch who you keep in company with cause you keep in company with somebody who's ruthless man eventually they ruthlessness go you, you watching them be ruthless to other people what you think they'll happen to you at some point <laughs> uh, friend or foe what do you think is gonna happen you better watch them like you're watching TV, and that's it. <laughs> oh, man. But the world is not set up for us to be like this anymore, man, where you could be, you know, I'm just going to be a, you know, I'm just going to be fun-loving and, 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 and popping and busting down every woman I run into. You can't do that no more. Well, not if you want to be healthy, not if you want to live a long time, right? Some of these women, they already know, they on their way to hell. What I mean by that is they already know they got the monster. Some of these men already know they got the monster. And they giving it to these women, and the women find you. And the woman say, hey, if I got the monster, I'm going to give it to as many men as I can. Think about that, man. Think about that. That's the kind of world you in. You're in the kind of world where now you got to ask. See, there was a reason why we had to go to meet the family, right? Now you got to meet the go meet the family, man. Go see if you can get some baby pictures and see if your female person was a female before, was born a female. See, that was a question we didn't even have to ask it coming up in the 80s, but now my sons have to ask that question. You know what I'm saying? They got to look into it. Anyway, <laughs> that's my that's my opinion on why so many black men are turning trans. I think uh, they see more benefits in 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 living a trans life uh, at, 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 as well as they have been uh, their their spirit, mind, and body have been uh, violated at some point somewhere in there. And, the, and their alignment is off. The equilibrium is off. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you see, um, I feel like a man in my spirit. I, I see a man in the mirror, and, uh, you know, I think as a man. But when your spirit has been violated, I might look at myself and see a man, and I hate him. I hate that man because a man violated me. I don't want to be that. I want to be something that, you know, I can decide if I'm going to be violated or not, which is a female. Then now I'm not being violated because I got the option of accepting uh, the the, the uh, advances of a man, right? Many different parts to it, but basically it's a it's a uh, disruption in the equal the equilibrium of the mind, body, and the spirit by an outside force has come in and vi created this violation and to create the balance to realign everything into some sort of balance. Uh, sometimes our young men will say, you know what? Hey, I, I, I don't feel like a man anymore. And they, they, and they don't feel like a man in their mind anymore. And then they, they, they feel like they don't feel like a man and physically because they weren't able to protect themselves. And so their spirit says, okay, well, how are we going to do this? Okay. Well, we, then we have to, I guess, then we have to all agree that fe a feminine 
framework is a better place for us to be so that we can have this we can achieve equilibrium all right what y'all think Clarence you crazy I know <laughs> but let me just say this before I go uh we got the uh we got the urban uh warrior um academy which is an academy I want to open up for young men young black men not not specifically but um pretty much uh that's our um what do you call that demographic but it's not specific to black men it's any any young man that needs help that's willing to come and listen we have no problem doing that but it is an afrocentric program however like i said our our goal is to uh deal with the most uh like a triage room deal with the most severe case of the problems of manhood and that is in the black community by far bar none so that's what we're trying to do and i need your help family i need some money i need 250 racks uh you know and i want that by june so i can i would like 50 racks by the end of this month this black history month i would like uh uh, uh, uh i would like uh 50 racks just to secure the lease if you give me the 50 racks man i'm gonna tell you i won't spend one dime I spend every dime you give me on that lease. Every dime you give me, man, because fifty grand will give us the lease for the year, right? That'll at least get us in there. But wait, we're not done. We got to get all the other equipment we need in there. We need equipment to teach. We need chairs. We need tables. We need all kind of other stuff. I got to do renovations. I got to put a kitchen in there. I got to. I got to put a break room. I got to put a lot of different stuff. We might even put a. Um, we got so much room, we might even put a business center in there so these young men can start businesses. They can run they, they can do their own businesses in there. Right? Come on, family. Come on, family. This is what we can do. This is what we can do. But we're not gonna do nothing if you know, I don't you you guys don't help me. I can't do it by myself. I can't. I wish I could. I would at least start it by myself, but I can't. I got a family to take care of too. I got a I got a regular nine to five job like you, but if all of us who got regular nine to five job we put our nickels and pennies together, we can make this happen. Two fifty ain't nothing. Y'all done gave y'all gave Doctor Umar shout out to Doctor Umar. Y'all gave Doctor Umar millions of dollars, and you still waiting. Okay, y'all just keep on giving the money and you know, but no disrespect, but me if you give me money, man, I'm tell you I'm show you what I'm gonna do this year. If you give me this money, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do this year. We're going to have them doors open, and you can see what we're doing out here for these young men. That's the plan. That's the plan. I'm very qualified. I taught for a lot of years for the city of Los Angeles, and now I could teach our young men. Why should I spend all that time teaching their employees when, I, when, when our young men need way more help than that? Right? And I know what they need. I've spent a lot of time in the streets of Los Angeles, Compton, Watts, Long Beach. All of, I spent time out here. So I know what these young men need. We're going to have the, the, the business portion in the front, the, edu- the, the, the business portion, the school, and then the, uh, the, 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 what do you call that, the workout center in the back. Where they could work out, they could, we could put an Olympic mat back there. We could put uh, some uh, boxing, uh, everything you need to, for to you know the the boxing bags and punching bags and uh, 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 what do you call those things? Uh, treadmills and all that stuff. We can have all that stuff back there. We can have workout. We got we can have everything set up so it's all good. I just need your help, family. I'm not trying to be like Umar. But shout out to Umar, man. I'm not trying to put Umar down, but I'm saying I don't think he tells you exactly how much money he really need. I really need two fifty, man, just to get this thing started. If you give me the fifty thousand, cool. For the lease, cool. But I still need money. I still gonna need money to buy all the equipment to make it into this. What I'm telling you, it's gonna be. But y'all let me know. Y'all, y'all see. Just check in the check in the description. We got to go fund me. If you got a couple of bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever, hey, just throw it our way. See what we're gonna do. Right? If not, 
hey, I might ha- y'all put me in a position where I have to go ask white people for the money, right? <laughs> and if I have to ask them for the money, I have to ask them for the money, right? If they give it to me, they give it to me. Then you're going to say, Clarence, hey, Clarence, you went to them. I, what am I supposed to do? I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. You ain't giving me the money. What, what, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? But, hey, family, I need your help, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to the white people that would help us. I'm not talking about the ones that wouldn't, but I'm just saying, y'all would say, if I took it from, and some of our white people, man, they want to help us, right? But they feel like, man, they don't want to get caught up in no, they don't want no crossfire from trying to help us, man, because we so crazy, right? <laughs> but, hey, I'm going to take money from anybody, man. Like I said, I'll take money from the cartels. If they give it to me, they can get it to me. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take money from anybody to try to put this program together. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to ask nobody else. That's why I'm coming to you, my family. I'm coming to you first. I'm coming to you asking you, can you help me? Will you help me? Please help me. Please help me. If you can't donate, at least share. Man, sharing ain't nothing, man. You can just share, hit the share button, you know, hit your Facebook, boom, you done. Right? Come on, family. All right, y'all. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man. Why would why are so many black men making a transition from male to female? Hmm. Good question. Thank you, Gypsy Mama 90. Appreciate you. All right, peace. <laughs>